All right, next up, everybody, please welcome Bill McMorrow and Meg Connolly. Hey, Meg. What's up, buddy? How are you? Great. Okay, Bill, do you want to go first or second? I missed a couple weeks. What happened? Did he break it? Did Lloyd break it? Second, okay. Meg, you can pick any category you'd like. Ooh, wild card, please. Wild card. Wild card. Right. Your question is for May Keith. She asks, Animals. which boat would you rather have? Skid Bladner, a fast, magical ship that can be folded up and carried in your pocket when not in use, or Nagflar, a ship made entirely of the fingernails and toenails of the dead. Oh, okay. I like these options. I like everything about this. And I got to go with the toenails, guys. Strong as could be. The best kind of building material you could ever get. You know, it's not like they sell it by the pound. You know, you have to collect that very diligently, you know. Something you can fold up and put in your pocket, I mean, that's bound to break because I've had wallets before, you know? <laughs> you don't want to have a leak, you know? <laughs> you feel bad when you lose a couple coins. Imagine when you lose all your doubloons or whatever the Norse did, you know? <laughs> all your treasure's gone because you didn't trust your toenails. This is a Harry Potter reference, right? Is this... Is this... I have no idea. I'll be honest. I don't understand Norse mythology. I never cared for it. I never learned about it. I wouldn't take the toenails. That, uh, the fingernails and toenails of the dead. That shit keeps growing. Even after you're dead, it keeps growing. You gotta trim it? You gotta trim somebody else's toenails just to keep your boat in work in order? Like, you gotta get it inspected once a year, probably, at least. You're gonna show up with fucking craggly toenails of the dead? And fingernails. It's not just toenails. Fingernails are gross. We should get rid of them. It's, it's amazing that we haven't adapted yet. And just fucking, who needs them, really, when you get down to it? My, I can put my thing in my pocket. That's pretty dope. Fucking take your boat, you just take it wherever. Fucking put it in your pocket, and then someday you're gonna need it, and you got it in your fucking pocket. Time. <sighs> Imagine a world where, where Bill McMorrow has a boat where he can just get away anywhere. <laughs> oh, I got, I, I just, I robbed a bank, but I went all the way up to the North Shore real quick. That's my best impression of Bill I can muster. But imagine this, a better world where Bill McMorrow carefully clips the toenails of all the dead people in his family, because I know that's a topic. I have dead people, too. He can clip my family's toes and fingers. Time. I don't clip my own damn toenails. I'm not going to... Listen. Listen. I've, I've had a boat before. I'm not bragging, but fucking, you know. But you have a boat in your pocket, all of a sudden you're a commercial fisherman? Just out of nowhere, you're fucking going over a bridge? You're like, I don't even want to be on a bridge anymore. I want to be under a bridge. And I got a boat. Fucking toenails, though. Those are gross. You guys, hey, you guys got toenails? You ever look at them? You ever look at your feet sometimes? Fucking gross. Um, all right. Good, good points. Good points, both of you. But I got to hand the win here to Bill McMorrow. Bunch of fucking toenail lovers. <laughs> okay. 